Okay, we kind of removed some of the sundry garbage. Uh, those are interesting. So, we've got functionality that we're not getting. It's getting a little bit off the panel. Uh, you'll see that light further back flicker. Yeah, the wire manager's a little rough, sorry. Uh, you see the light further back flicker. Uh, what it is, it's got a capacitive layer, so if it gets any kind of visible light, it'll slowly build up a slight heatful charge and then uh, run into the, 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 uh, the 1.5 volt to 5 volt uh, transformer board and then into the, uh, into the 5 volt charge controller for, for the, uh, for the uh, power supply charge controller for the 3.7 volt battery. So, so we've got wires going across. We, we've taken some liberties here. You know, it's the first time setting her up. Uh, what we're gonna do is that's my house there. I don't have any pregnant women, um, but there are dogs in the area. So, like I said, it's a psychological, it's a psychological uh, uh, piece of equipment. So you're, you're gonna combine this with different types of uh, different types of the uh, other um, uh, equipment. Uh, you know, like uh, the fire starting stuff, the uh, jamming equipment, the communications, you know, so the influence projection stuff. And then this is just like a seasoning on that larger meal uh, so that where, where you need to push people, whether that's civilians, non-combatants, or, you know, kind of in between, whatever, maybe they're armed. But what you do is if they've got women, children, dogs, um, you're going to start broadcasting, emitting uh, in frequencies only hearable by, by certain people or animals and stuff like that. And you do it in a coordinated such a way, uh, you're trying to scare people. And what it is is that you try to drive them away if there's going to be combat or you're trying to drive them away um, instead of bombing the urban center or the, you know, uh, the, the outpost or whatever it is. You, 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 you put the screws to them for a couple days, especially if there's, you know, uh, vulnerable civilians. And, and then nobody comes out uh, with any more than maybe, you know, hurt feelings, uh, but possibly get them moving, possibly exert that influence. And then you still always have the kinetic option down the road. And you can increasingly, you know, so we start with, with something like this. In the middle of the night, all the dogs start barking. Then the next night, around the same time, uh, all the pregnant women hear demons screaming. It's, it's, it has to do with the, uh, the frequencies available to the, uh, the pregnant female of the human species. Uh, if you want to look it up, you can. Um, so, and then from there, you know, additional stuff. Fires start during the day automatically. You know, we've just got something with a magnifying glass just targeting the right a, a pile of accelerant, whatever like that. Uh, certain animals start freaking out, whether that's livestock or whatever like that. And then certain people with a more attuned sense of hearing, they'll hear it too. And so people will start thinking they're going crazy. You may most likely be able to start some kind of mass hysteria if you do it correctly. And again, to get people moving you know, access that spiritual or, or, or uh, fear of, uh, you know, esoteric stuff or whatever like that. If there's any kind of, uh, you know, uh, cultural thing that you can, you know, banshees, whatever. You know, Hound of the Baskervilles, doesn't matter. The point is to not hit them, not to hit that house or that settlement or that village with kinetic weapons, you know, 500-pound bombs or whatever like that. It's to, to scare them. Thank you.